Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Drew here from Lone Fox, and I just tried filming a little intro for you outside, but the sun was setting in my eye. I popped back in the car to quickly film an intro because today we are shopping Ikea's new holiday collection, which I will let you all know right now. I already browsed the website, and this hands down is my favorite collection Ikea has ever released. I feel like there's some really, really cool pieces that are kind of a little bit more on trend for the holiday, but are a great budget-friendly item to incorporate in your decor or use year after year. So we are going to go through, browse apps, absolutely everything and I'm going to share with you guys my favorites give you a look at everything new for holidays so let's go ahead and head on in see what we can find before going ahead and sharing with you all of the newness at Ikea for holiday, I did want to mention that the new holiday collection is live over on my website, LoneFox.com, and this is just such a labor of love for me. I absolutely love curating and putting together the holiday collection each year. I think this is like our fourth year, and we have so many new items for holiday. There are over 300 items, you guys, and ranging from ornaments, garlands, wreaths, everything you need to decorate your home, and there's so many like bespoke and unique pieces as well. These tree candles so many favorites i love that ribbon these mushrooms a ton of cuteness over there and for you guys just for youtube subscribers the lone fox family you get 15 percent off of your order with code lone fox fam and orders over 99 also ship for free in the u.s so it's just a great time to purchase some holiday decor look at the first thing we see when we walk in fox tree fox christmas tree so cute. I also love this. Um, I don't know if you remember, I shared this in my last Ikea video. This is a rug, but look how good the edge detail is. And they hung it up as like a tapestry. And I think it's so cute as a tapestry. It has like little birds on it. So now I'm going to make my way up the escalator so we can first check out the upper area, which I will say I love this first little display that they have. It's actually like a storefront, and I shared this in the fall makeover that they did. I think it was actually a different color. I think they painted it, but I think this is so freaking cute how they have window displays in here with some of their little items, and it's almost like a store within a store. And then also this little holiday mat was something that I thought was really charming outside of the store with the candy canes and the heart. It just adds like a little whimsy, cute vibe to holiday to Core. And then once you enter this store, it actually has a selection of some of the smaller holiday goods in here. And I just love seeing everything displayed like this. I feel like it makes it feel like a little bit more like a boutique and it just makes it more fun to shop and see it in this setting. Of course, they do also have it in their entire like warehouse setting as well. Coming across one of my favorite items that I first found were these patterned tins and I loved the patterns on these. I thought they were so cute. And you guys have heard me talk in the past about Ikea patterns and how I feel like a lot of times they are not that great. However, this round of Ikea patterns for holiday are pretty cute. I will say they're a little bit more on the block print side and they have this kind of Scandinavian feel to them, which makes them feel a bit more fresh as a traditional block print. So they had all those different tins there, which would be great for cookies or storage. And this little set as well, that is a display set was also so charming. I loved this candle with the almost block print wallpaper-esque pattern on it. I thought that was really cute. And it's just like an ornament candle. And in the realm of candles in general. There were a bunch of different candle holders that they came out with, along with pillar candles that had different prints on them. There were some striped ones, which I actually should insert here in a second, so let me grab that clip. Some taper candles, and these were also so cute. I love the little scented candles with the prints on them. How great would this be? You can even customize that and kind of use it as a holiday gift if you wanted to. And here are those clips of the candles I was mentioning. They have a bunch of different pillar candles that have the prints on them as well, but I love these red and white striped ones. I feel like those could be really nice for the holiday. The shape of this candelabra is so cute. It gives me like Celine vibes for some reason, like the Celine logo. And then this cookie cutter set and these ornaments also kind of caught my eye. So I wanted to grab a clip of each of those. And then over in the corner, I noticed they had a bunch of different new holiday textiles. So these are different blankets you could put on your couch. And I personally love, love, love that striped one with kind of the red texture in there. And then there's also a brighter tone of red in there. It kind of reminds me of those ribbon striped candies, but it has like a muted faded look and then I also really love this one as well it kind of has a folk art feel to it still within the little Ikea boutique section there was a bunch of these different potpourris that came in assorted colors but I love how they picked these ones out for the Christmas time so these are just nice vase fillers if you need anything like that and then these ceramic trees also caught my eye they do actually come in a set of three so they come with the two different trees and then there's like this little bird as well which I think is so charming so that's a great little set now I'm actually super excited to talk about these wrapping papers because like I mentioned 
mention the prints for Holiday are really cute and I purchased a bunch of these wrapping papers. I got the red and white striped one. I also got the kind of holly one in the front, but they have this hibiscus print too. I think it's hibiscus flowers. They have a stripe on them. I wish this came in a wrapping paper. It only comes in little bags, but do you see that black wrapping paper with the red and pink striped flowers on it? I think that wrapping paper is so cute. This one with the little florals, it's so great. It just feels a little bit more elevated for Ikea. Like I almost feel like it feels a little bit more anthropology. And then this red Christmas paper was so cute. And I loved this craft one in the dark green as well. And around the corner from there, I actually ended up finding a bunch of different table settings. And the second one here, I loved. I just felt like this was such a homey vibe for Christmas. That kind of copper wall color in the back complements green, this dark forest green from the Christmas tree so well. And I love the mix of mustard and kind of the ambery glass and the navy toned plates in this place setting. I thought that was really pretty. And another simple idea that they kind of executed using some of their own items were these little branches with ornament. But this is totally something you can do on a larger scale on a table setting too, and just get some branches from outdoor, add some ornaments, incorporate some glassware from Ikea, like the ones I just showed, and you'd have a cute little table setting instantly. And I've never personally been a huge fan of these like faux sheepskin rugs. However, for a table setting, I feel like using these sheepskin rugs could actually be really cute to create like a Nordic winter scene. I also loved these book dividers and how they created this little book install. I wanted to take a clip of that for you guys because I thought that was super cute. And then these stockings are also great. They have a scallop detail on the top, which I love. And they kind of emulate that pattern that I shared in the throw blanket that kind of has like a folk art feel to it. It feels very Scandi folk art. A reoccurring trend that I actually saw throughout this store where these paper stars and they come in a bunch of different prints and styles. There's this one here. There's also this one which has the same exact kind of hibiscus print that I was mentioning. But here is a display that shows a bunch of the different styles. And I think this just looks so great. Even if you were to just grab one or two of these, even incorporating them into your Christmas tree is a great way to add like a luxe oversized element to your Christmas tree. thought these little goats were so cute. They come in a set of two and they're painted red and they also have the pillows that match the stocking. So you can go with either or or coordinate them if you want to for kind of that cohesive patterned look, which is so in right now. I loved these green vases. I thought they just, they felt very elevated and they're super affordable. But one of my absolute favorite finds of all of the Christmas decor was this little glass horse in green. This could totally live year round. And then I bumped into some Lone Fox family members. Oh my gosh, you guys, we're shopping for Christmas. Christmas and we found some Lone Fox fam! Yay! <laughs> I apologize for my absolutely shrill, excited voice there, but these were another find of mine that I loved. These little stainless steel trays. I think these would be great as a trinket tray. It also came alongside all of this barware, which I also thought was great and had this kind of like cubed glass design. And then this rug really caught my attention. I loved the colors in it, but I also loved the pattern. It almost looks like tile on the floor, but the colors and contrast and also how it's made of wool is great for $99. I shared this new side table shape actually in my last fall video, but it's a perfect little table if you want something for like Christmas cookies or just to have around the house to add that red touch. This area over here featured a bunch more of the light up stars and then also this viral little wall Christmas tree, which Ikea came out with. Sadly, they were completely sold out of them, so I could not pick one up, but I love the idea of this little pegboard Christmas tree that you could display ornaments on. It can also be like an advent calendar if you wanted it to be, and also the pots that they have for their Christmas trees this year. So cute, or like just plants in general. They come in brass, green and red ceramic. Something else that kept catching my eye throughout the store were these red cabinets. I found them to be so striking and I kind of want to incorporate one of these in a makeover in the future. So that is something I'm keeping in mind. And I also like the napkin just simply tucked in the wine glass. I thought that was cute. And then this mirror belongs at an antique store. I cannot believe I found this at Ikea. It does not look like an Ikea mirror. I believe it's new. And of course I had to say hello to everyone. Hello. If you're at Ikea soon, definitely check their leftover Halloween section because look at this bowl. It looks like Sophie Lou Jacobson glassware and I am so here for it. I think it looks so cute and chic. And then I finally started making my way into the warehouse area, which is kind of where they have the kitchen section and the Christmas trees. They also have a really great woven Christmas tree collar. So if you're looking for one like this and you guys know my tip of flipping it so that it looks like a basket at all times. I also loved this setup that they did with an upside down tree and those plaid green curtains in the back are also great. There are a bunch of new ornaments, but 
I had to point out my favorites. These blown glass ones here with kind of the wavy stripes on the interior. These blown glass ones as well that are clear and just like a beautiful range of colors. And then also this striped set here with the clear with the red stripes. But the thing that I found most beautiful about these is that they're actually like blown glass bulbs with a blown glass top on the top. I expected them to just be like a cheap material, but they were not. They're really nice quality. And that, my friends, is this year's holiday IKEA shopping video. I really wanted to focus on everything new just for holiday and not really touch on furniture or anything because I really do so many of these IKEA videos throughout the year. So if you would like, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything new that is coming out from IKEA. And also don't forget to check out my website, LoneFox.com, for holiday decor. You can use code LoneFoxFam at checkout for 15% off. This is only going to be valid for like a week, so take advantage while it's active.